Today's episode of Pilots of the Outdoors comes to you from North Carolina where we're doing a little bit of crappie fishing today. Uh, we're about an hour from Winston-Salem, Greensboro area, and we're also about, about an hour, an hour and a half from Raleigh, Durham, Cary, depending on what area you're in, uh, in one of the many lakes that has crappie. And as you know, crappie is a very popular species to target around here. So we're here in the springtime with guide Chris Bullock. We basically conned him into leaving Kerr Lake for a day where he spent decades as a guide and coming out here and fishing a place that he doesn't fish often. So what did we do? Came out here, we trolled around for a couple hours before we ran into some engine motor uh, issues and we had to get off. But what did we do in between then? We trolled for crappie. What we're gonna be doing today is long lining. In other words, we're gonna have jigs out uh, probably a cast and a half from the boat and we're going to be running from 0.7 to about 1.2 miles per hour. For today's fishing, we're running fireballs off the back of the boat. We're running red fire diamonds on one side on the front, chartreuse fire diamonds on one side, the other side on the front. One here. You gone? No. Big Mike with the little guy. Oh, we got another one. There's Big Mike. We got another double. That was actually a triple. What do you think? Make me feel decent. Oh, yeah. Oh! He was good one, too. That was, a, that was a big fish of the day right there. Wow, got a nice one today. Better off than what we started out with. Beautiful crappie. Ooh, I think this one might have eaten your last one there, Big Mike. When you see the net, man, you know it may be a better fish. And it is a crappy. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Oh, yeah. Hello. Nice North Carolina crappy. We're just starting to get into some nice sized ones. Let's get some more. The reason that we're long lining today versus spider rigging going real slow is uh, when the water temperature gets up to the mid 50s, uh, the fish are a little more aggressive and they'll hit a bait moving faster. So uh, what I do, some people think I'm crazy, uh, but I got a set up where I can run 16 rods at one time. And running 16 rods with a real good spread cover a lot of territory. Um, I don't get a chance to fish this lake but three or four times a year and uh, so I try to wait until I figure the water temperatures in the mid 50s and come up here and normally if you can catch a day when the bite's on uh, you may catch as many as 75 or 80 crappy. The tangle. That's all right. We'll fix the thing if hey, we want the fish hey, first. Look what he's got in his mouth. <laughs> he got a chartreuse minna in his mouth. Look at that. Look at that in his mouth. Chartreuse minna. Fat crappy. Getting ready for the spawn. Look at his belly. Nice healthy crappy. Alright, so here we go. Welcome to the party folks. That is a chartreuse, a red, and a non-fire dye minnow. And I think you could tell the difference between the three of them, which is why we have those out here today. And if you take a look right here, into our bag of tricks here. Oh, it's tough with the, with the glare, but let's, let's find a couple. So, there you go. You have red, chartreuse, and regular fire dye minnows in there. Pretty exciting. Double. Big Mike with a double. Ooh. Ooh, we got Big Mike and somebody else's line. What you got there, Mike? Somebody else's line? It happens, yeah.
we just caught a decent crappie for this lake. This lake has an eight inch limit, 20 per person. Real quick way to check them is a fish checker. You just slide him in head first, all the way down. As you can see, I got nine inches marked for Kerr Lake, but this fish is over 10 inches. And so the legal fish here is eight inches. So this is a decent fish for this lake, this time of the year. Just a small one. The small one like the fire die minus two. Man. As you can see. It's still in there? Yeah, eat them all. Yep, there it is, chartreuse. There it is. All right, I just want to show you the setup I'm using for long lining, which this is the jig and minnow. Got it on six pound test line. That's what I run all of them on. Uh, the reason you do that is uh, so you can gauge your depth. Uh, the way you gauge your depth is your jig head weight plus your speed. Example, running one miles an hour, pulling this, you're going to be running about six foot deep. The slower you slow down, 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, the deeper that jig drops. Okay, on the front is a little different setup than the back. I start out uh, with a short rod, and, and there again, some of the lower end reels. I start out with a six foot rod for number one, for number two, goes to 10, number three, goes to 14. Number four goes to 18. Therefore, I got about a four foot spread on each side of the front of the pontoon. Now on the back, I'll generally run 16 foot rods out to the side, and then I'll start coming back to like a 14, um, a 12, and 10 straight off, off the back, because I also run eight rods off the back. And that's basically the setup that I use when I'm longlining. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. That's a nice crappie for this lake right here. Uh, you're probably looking at a pound and a half to a pound and three quarters. Uh, well, that's a nice crappie anywhere. It makes some great fillets for somebody that wants to eat. And she's got a lot of eggs in her, so we're gonna be nice today and turn her back loose to catch another day. We use one 16 ounce jigs, and uh, on one side of the boat, we tipped everything with the new Potsky crappie fireballs. We use the pink, and we use the chartreuse. And as you know, the pink is uh, shad scented, and the chartreuse is garlic scented. The reason why we did these, a lot of people have been using nibwits and different nuggets and that kind of thing to tip their baits for decades. However, those fall off the hook so easily that we decided to come up with something new. And these baits smell really good and they don't fall off the hook. Now, on the other side of the book, uh, boat where you see guide Chris Bullock over here, uh, he did what he always does. He uses live chartreuse and red fire dye minnows. He tipped those on those same jigs, and we caught fish on both today. Now, one of the things to consider about this lake, this isn't a monster crappie lake, uh, but it is a very healthy lake. By that, we mean we caught fish all the way from a quarter pound to a half pound, on up to a pound, almost to about, oh, a pound, pound and a half, pound and three quarters. Caught different, different year sizes, different quality of the fish, and had a great day doing it. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.